Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. In this video, we are going to talk about Kokosaki virus and the ecoviruses. Right. These viruses are positive sense single-stranded RNA viruses represented by these two suns. We talked about this in our introduction videos. These viruses, they belong to the genus Enterovirus under the family Piconaviridae. So you can click the link on the top right corner and watch those videos first. Now let's talk about the common features of the Coxsackie virus and the Ecovirus. Coxsackie A, Coxsackie B and the Ecoviruses have multiple serotypes and all of them can cause number one asymptomatic or mild febrile infections. Number two, they can they all cause respiratory symptoms. Number three, they all cause the rashes. And number four, they cause aseptic meningitis. So I'm just I just want to remind you that I said the enteroviruses are the most common causes of the uh, nanobacterial or aseptic meningitis. Because of these common diseases, there is overlap since the different viruses can cause the same clinical symptoms. Okay, now let's talk about the Coxsackie viruses first. These viruses were first isolated in 1949 in Coxsackie village in the New York. The characteristic feature of this group is the ability to infect the suckling mice, like the young, the young mice. Based on the pathological changes uh, produced in suckling mice, the Coxsackie viruses are classified into two groups, Coxsackie A and Coxsackie B virus. Okay, so now let's uh, differentiate them, Coxsackie A and Coxsackie B. Coxsackie A viruses, they cause paralysis and death in the mouse with extensive skeletal muscle necrosis. In humans, they also cause hip angina and hand, foot and mouth syndrome. Hip angina is a mild self-limiting illness characterized by fever, sore throat, and red based vesicles over the back of the throat. Hand, foot and mouth syndrome is a common acute illness primarily in children and it's characterized by fever, oral vesicles, and small tender lesions on hands, feet, and buttocks. Coxsackie B virus cause um, less severe infections in mouse, but multiple organ, uh, organ damage can be noticed, such as heart, heart, brain, liver, pancreas, and the skeletal muscles. And it can also cause uh, the following in humans. Number one, pleurodynia, also known as the devil's grip. Number two, myocarditis. Uh, and sometimes they cause pericarditis. Right, so this pleurodynia is characterized by fever, headache, uh, and severe uh, lower chest pain, right? So it's like a pleuritic pain, right? So these symptoms mark the Coxsackie B virus respiratory infection. In myocarditis, uh, basically they, they affect the muscle of the heart, like the actual myocardium, and the pericardium. But in severe cases, they cause arrhythmias, cardiomyopathy. So this one, they call it a dilated cardiomyopathy and heart failure. So a lot of viruses cause these things, these three things, arrhythmias, cardiomyopathy, and heart failure. But Coxsackie B is associated with 50% of the cases. Now let's look at the echo viruses. Echo means enteric cytopathic human orphan viruses, right? So these were called uh, orphan viruses because they were thought to be unrelated to any 
other particular clinical disease. All right. So uh, as I said before, the, these three viruses, Koksaki A, Koksaki B, and the Ecovirus, they are related. So I need to give you a way to differentiate them clinically, right? So on the left side, you can see the diseases, right? So I'm going to tell you whether each is present um, uh, in, in each of the viruses. Let's start. Asymptomatic infections, yes, there is present in Coxsackie A, in Coxsackie B, and in Ecovirus. What about the respiratory infections? Yes, they are present in Coxsackie A, and also in Coxsackie B, and in Ecovirus. What about the rashes? Yes, they are present in, in, in Coxsackie A, present in Coxsackie B, and also in Ecovirus. Now on aseptic meningitis, I want to say this again. Enteroviruses are the most common causes of non-bacterial or aseptic meningitis, right? Particularly in the United States, right? So it means in all these viruses, there is aseptic meningitis. In Coxsackie A, Coxsackie B, and the Ecovirus. Let's look at hep angina, right? Hep angina is present in Coxsackie A, but is absent in Coxsackie B and also in, in Ecovirus. All right. Pleurodynia, the devil's grip, is absent in Coxsackie A, but is present in Coxsackie B and is absent in Ecovirus. What about a myocarditis? It is absent in Coxsackie A, is present in Coxsackie B and is absent in Ecovirus. What about uh, pericarditis? Pericarditis is absent in Coxsackie A, is present in Coxsackie B and is present in Ecovirus. I said this is pericarditis. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please just hit that subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos because we will be uploading these videos almost each and every day. Um, and make sure you leave a comment on the comment section. It gives us energy to record more videos for you guys. Thank you so much and until next time, head bowed.